everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And we are getting really close to Christmas. This is my last Christmas video. And so I thought I would uh, spend this week showing you how to make some really quick Christmas tags. So these are really quick Christmas projects. They're really about five minutes each and you can do them really quickly, add them to that special gift or make a little simple card and just put it on there. So we are going to make these four simple projects. We're gonna work our way through all of them and they are really quick and easy to do. So here's what we're gonna need. So in the mini cottage set, we're gonna use this little one right here. In the fir tree set, these, this topper and this topper. So the two toppers, the small one and the large one. The little birds. So we're gonna use uh, this little bird here and the birdhouse. This one and this one. And then in the new foliage set, we're gonna use these two, the little tiny one right here, and then the fur bow. And in the small watercolor uh, container set, we're gonna use this one right here. And then in the branches set, this little one right here. So it really doesn't take a lot. And these are just ideas for you uh, so that you can see how to do these really simple little projects, but you can use what you have. You don't necessarily need to use the exact same thing that I'm using. So let's start out with this little container. So we're gonna make this little one with the little holly leaves in it. So we're gonna start out by stamping that little container from the little mini container set. And we're gonna use the African Violet. So we're gonna ink this little container in the African Violet. Just ink that all up. And stamp that on your watercolor paper. So right about there is good. And then our first step always, even in these tiny little projects, is to pull that color out of the lines, dip your brush and pinch it off, and then start where the color is the darkest, and that's going to be on the sides, and just kind of drag that color over. This is always the starting point. So even in these tiny little containers, you wanna do that same thing, just drag that color over to the center. And we'll come back and add some more color to that, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and go on to the next step. And we're gonna cover this up now, and just leave a little tiny bit of that edge so that you can see exactly where to uh, stamp your little holly branch. So we're gonna use two colors on this little branch, uh, the sepia, so the number 45, and the number 72. So there's that green, pine green. And we're gonna just kind of stamp this in the center, maybe a couple of times, just like that. You don't have to overthink these, because remember, these projects are all supposed to be quick and easy. So you can make these tags really, really quick. And this is that tiny little foliage now. And I'm just stamping this on here, just kind of wherever. That looks good like that. And then I'm going to add my water to it now. So dip my brush and just kind of touch it and just dab. So easy. These make great little mini cards too, but I just love these um, little special tags. I think they really make that gift really special. Okay, so let's take some of this green now and we're going to put it on our palette. And we're gonna take some of this color and we're gonna to start to apply that color where it's the darkest. So that would be on the sides. So you're gonna apply that color to the sides and drag it over. So just like this. Remember, you wanna see that highlight in the center because this little container is round. So we don't wanna lose that highlight. If we lose that highlight, uh, it's gonna be flat, so we don't want that. And it doesn't have to be huge, but it just has to be there. We have to be able to see that highlight. Okay, so we've got that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put those little uh, berries in now. So this is the number 89 persimmon, and I'm using the fine tip, and I'm just putting these little berries in, just little groups of three or four. Just kind of wherever you can do as much of this or as little as you would like. That looks good. And let's add a little of that color now to the palette. And we can make something decorative on this little pot because it's, it's dry now. And just kind of put this color on really easily. You just wanna use the tip of your brush because these little images are so small. So very detailed. Okay, so let's add some uh, little color to the bottom. This is the number 100 Sapphire. Love this blue. 
and we're going to just add a little shadow to the bottom and just a little sky in the background. A little cool winter sky. Uh, stay way far away from the red. Don't let your sky touch that red because it will just bleed right into here. And you don't need a lot. Just, just get the idea of it in here. Give you a really pretty blue background. Just like this. That looks pretty good. And we're going to come back and add a little glitter to it and um, bring some sparkle to it. We can add some uh, white too and show some snow in the background. Okay, so we are done with our first one. Let's move on to the next one. And that is the little tree. So this is the little Christmas tree. And we're gonna do that with one stamp. So just this one, this is the topper, the large topper. And we're gonna ink that with the number 72, the whole thing. Stamp that on the paper, in your watercolor paper, just like that. And then do it again. And stamp it just a little bit lower. And we're gonna kinda of go off to the side a little bit. And as you come down, we're gonna just turn that um, just a little bit. And there you go, super, super easy to do these little trees. And then just add a little water to it, doesn't take much, because we still wanna see uh, the image and see those pine needles on here. So don't, don't wash it out too much. Okay, just like that. And let's go ahead and add some uh, little um, little decorative ornaments to it. This is that persimmon again, and you can see I'm leaving a little highlight on here. Just put as many of these in as you would like, and whatever colors you'd like to. So fun. And these really are so quick and easy to do. Super easy. This is the number 100, again. Really pretty blue. And I'm just adding another color in here, just like this. And let's put a little more of that sky in the background, just like we did on the other one. And just brush it into the background. Again, stay away from that red. Don't get anywhere near that red. And be sure that you, uh, if you do use your uh, brush to uh, add water to those little red ornaments. Be sure to really clean your brush off before you dip it into the next color. And let's take a little of this blue now and just put this little tree in the snow, just like that. And we'll come back to this one too and add some uh, snow and some sparkle to it. And we are finished with this one. Super easy to do. Let's go on to the next one. And this is the little birdhouse. So we're gonna start out with that little birdhouse and we're gonna ink it. And uh, we're gonna leave the, the little detail on the roof off. So we're just gonna ink the outline. We're gonna use the number 86 African Violet. And we're just gonna get the outline of this roof. So we want that roof to be snowy. And so we don't wanna see any detail in the roof. And just stamp that onto your watercolor paper, just like that. And let's go ahead and put that little bird on. We're gonna use the positioner to make sure we get that in the right place. So we're gonna put that up in the corner like that. Ink that little bird into the sepia. And just stamp that right up in here in the corner. So we can place him right about here. That's about perfect and put that little bird back in here. Stamp it right in the corner, just like that. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we can see the eye on that little bird. So really darken that in with the fine tip. This is the sepia. And so we wanna be sure to really, really see that. And let's start with that little bird by pulling the color out of the lines with this little guy. And we're just dragging some of this color out. This is the sepia. And let's take some of this, this red. This is the persimmon. We're gonna give him a little red chest. Really 
really bright. This is the brightest, prettiest red. I just really, really love this color. This is really Christmas red. Okay, let's take the fine tip and let's put a little hat on him. And that's just a little triangle on the top of his head. And I'm using the fine tip and a little dot on top. Perfect. And he is about finished. So let's go on to the next step. Make sure you clean your brush out really good because I just finished with that red. So I want to make sure that I don't um, get that red. So now I'm pulling that color to the outside because I've got a little snowy, snowy top on here. And I'm just dragging this color out just like this. And in the center of this little opening, I want to really, really darken that color. So in here, just like this. Okay, so let's add some color to that now. And we're gonna do that from the palette. So same, the same way that we did our little container, by adding the color to the darkest area first, and that's the sides. And this is the, um, the pine green. So we're using that same color again. Make sure to leave that highlight in the center. Even though these images are so small, it's so important to do that. Got to show that on here, otherwise it, uh, the little birdhouse is going to look flat. Okay, so we've got that colored in. Let's just put a little uh, bit of this blue on here and get a little shadow underneath that bird. Just like this. And then we want to see a little shadow underneath uh, this little perch. So just a little shadow like that as well. Okay, so let's add our fur bow. And we're going to do that also with the, with the pine green. So I'm turning this upside down. I think it will be a little easier to stamp it. So just like this. And just stamp it in here a couple of times, just like that. And if you want to add a little of this, uh, the other foliage as well, you can do that. Add a little holly in here. And let's just put another one in here. That looks good. These little, these little projects are just so fun to do because they're so quick. And I don't know, something about little tiny watercolors, just so cute. Add your water to it, not too much. Everything is so tiny. So just do a little bit. Let's go ahead and get some sky in in the background. So again, that same light blue, the sapphire. And just brush this in in the background. Uh, don't don't uh, go all the way around this little bird. He's pretty high up on top of this birdhouse, so we want to kind of show him at the very, at the kind of at the very peak. So we don't really don't want need to surround him with the sky. Just like that. So let's go ahead and add our little berries in, same way that we did before. Just little groups of three or four. just like so. And we are finished with this one, ready to move on to the next one. And that is this little country house, a little snowy house. We're gonna do this one next. And this one is uh, super easy too. They're all super easy. So we're gonna ink this one in the number 86. That is the African violet. We're just gonna ink this whole thing up. And then we're going to take that bottom off uh, because we're going to kind of set this in the snow and stamp this on our watercolor paper just like that. Dip our brush and pull this color out of the lines. Just drag it out just like this. Over here on the side, this is in the shadow, so this is going to be pretty dark over here. Just keep dragging that out. 
inside this little door and the windows. So fun. And then we want to make a just a little tiny uh, swipe across the top here of the snow so that we can see that that snow is on the top of the roof. Just like that. Now we're going to use the fine tip of the number 100 and we're going to put in this little detail in the windows. Just like this. Just two little squares in each window. Use the fine tip and get that color in there pretty dark. Okay, and then use your uh, number 72. So this is the pine green and just draw a little circle on that door. We'll put a little wreath on there and use your uh, fine tip of the number 89 and just put a little bow in here, just like that. Let's darken in that little door handle and the little roof. And we are almost finished with this little house. So easy. They just, these just don't take a lot of color at all. They're just so fun. Okay, so let's take a little of this color now off of the palette and just kind of set this little house in the snow. Like so. And let's, let's go ahead and put our little uh, trees in. So this is the small topper now, this one, in the fir tree set. And we're just going to ink, ink this one just about halfway down and stamp it a couple of times in here. And then one more over here. That looks good. Dip your brush and pinch it off. And you've got little fir trees going in the background, just like that. So I finished up this little cottage. I brushed in some sky in the background uh, using the number 100. And I added a little snow to the background. I did that with my gel pen, so my white pigment ink. And then a little sparkle, uh, which is so cute on all those watercolor uh, Christmas scenes. So that one is finished and signed. And I did the same with my other ones too. So I jazzed them up a little bit, added some sparkle, added some snow in the background, and they are all ready to be mounted now on a card or a tag. So really fun and quick to do. Uh, I think you're gonna really like these projects.